If we want to move files, let me clear the screen, we use a move command. Move command moves the file to the specified directory or renames these files inside of the same directory. So if we use move file 1 and file 2 inside of the same directory, it will rename the file uh, to the specified file, like in this case file, it will be renamed to moved file. Let's perform the separations inside of dir1 and so let, let, let's check it. Uh, here is uh, the file which we've moved, uh, so we've, we've just renamed it. If we want to move some specific files uh, to another directory, we have to specify the the address of uh, this directory like uh, if we want to move moved files to file to home slash temp slash dir2 directory we need to specify this address and specify the new uh, file name or the same file name so in this case it will be new moved file sorry i have to uh, to change it like this, yes. And this will move a moved file and rename it at the same time to dir2. Let's check it if it is there with ls command. Uh, ls and dir2 will show us that it is there and it has been moved and renamed. So uh, if we want to... Yes, let's check uh, the stamps. Uh, it just was moved uh, and you can see that uh, uh, it has all the properties of uh, the file uh, which was previously. So let's create uh, some more files to play around with them. We will create uh, three files with uh, uh, .txt extension to show you one more uh, trick with move. If you want to move um, all the files with, TX, say, txt extension or maybe some other extension, you just uh, specify um, it with asterisk and then dot txt. So uh, it will move all the files with txt extensions to dir2. Here they are, and uh, it spares our time if we want. Uh, uh, to move bunches of files. And uh, if we want to mm, move file 1, uh, one level up, uh, we can uh, use uh, dot dot uh, slash. And we can use two levels up, three levels up, uh, the uh, the the quantity of levels we need right now. That's so it moves the file two levels up.